NBA Finals versus Luka Doncic, Franz Wagner, Brooke Lopez, and the Minnesota Timberwolves. Luka Doncic is scary, but on paper, I think we have the better team. Let's go ahead and start sim casting. Game one. Game one, we win the first quarter. Win the second quarter. Lose the third quarter. Fourth quarter, it's looking like we got this in the bag. And we do. 12-point win. Bam Adebayo gets hurt. Hyperextended right knee, that's fine. 27 points for him. Only 4 rebounds. 7 assists. 26 for Maxi, 23 for Vassell, 17 for Bridges, 17 for Quickly, 12, 8, and 6 for Scotty Barnes. Team did not rebound much. Game 2, leave rotation as is with Bam. Game 2, we lose the first quarter big, lose the second quarter. This is looking like it's going to be a blowout for them. And it only ended up being 5 points. Luka, 34, 4, and 9. Quickly was our leading scorer with 26 points. It's Luka. We weren't expecting to sweep him. Game 3. Another time we get blown out in the first quarter. We're coming back though. This game looks like it might be close. Down 7. And down 11. Down 13. Nope. They pull away with it at the end. Game number four. Important game here. Want to tie it up before game five. It's tied with a minute 47 left. We're going to jump in. And here for the finals, I'm just going to spectate. They have the ball. Sadiq Bey passing it in to Luka. Let's see if anyone's fouled out on either side. Luka, 40, 10, and 6. The next highest score is 9 points for Sadiq Bey. Franz Wagner has 5 fouls for them. Emmanuel quickly fouled out, but he's off the bench, so that's fine. Doncic with the ball, guarded by Maxi. Passes out to a wide open Franz Wagner, who misses the 3. Bam Adebayo with the rebound. Scotty Barnes bringing it down court, guarded by Sadiq Bey. Passing it to Tyrese Maxey. Maxey trying to drive past Doncic, finds Vassell wide open for three. He clanks that one out. Rebound for Kelly Olynyk. Sadiq Bey going right to the rim, lays it up, good defense there, no foul. Scotty Barnes passes it to Vassell. They have Alex Crusoe in, that's kind of scary. Tyrese Maxey wide open look for three, misses. Had a couple good looks that have been missed so far. Both teams in the bonus already. One minute left, 90-90 game. Hands it to Crusoe, passes it to Luka. Luka over to Olenek, Olenek to Bay. Bay tries to drive, does not go anywhere. Pass over to Kelly Olenek, jump shot from the free throw line is good. They take a two-point lead. Inbounding the ball here. Inbounding to Devin Vassell. Vassell here. Finds Bridges open for three on the wing. Hits that one. One point game now. 93-92 lead. Passes into Luka Doncic. Luka dribbles. Drives. And makes the layup. Tyrese Maxey. That's a tough matchup for him. I'm actually going to switch the defensive settings here. He's actually an 89 defender versus him. I want Mikhail Bridges on him. I want Scotty Barnes on Franz. Vassell can guard P. Will. And Bam Adebayo can guard Brook. Call our last time out for some reason with 28 seconds left.
Bam, passing it in. Passes into the cell. The cell hands it to Maxi. Screen set by Bam. Maxi passes down to Bridges. Bridges goes up and hits the layup. 19.7 seconds left. We're up 95 to 94. And the Wolves called their last time out there. No timeouts on either side. Passes into Luca. Luca dribbling atop of the key. Is, are they going to hold it for the last shot? Or are they going to try to leave some time on the clock in case they miss? Shaden Sharp. Sharp layup is good. 0. 0.6 seconds left. That should be game. Nothing to... Can't even get the shot up in 0. 0.6 seconds. Shaden Sharp just drives right by Tyrese Maxey. Tyrese Maxey's defense looking like Swiss cheese, allowing them to win. Luka, 42-10-7. Pretty much did this game completely on his own. RN, 22-6 for Maxey. 17 for Vassell. 16 for Bridges. 15 for Scotty Barnes. 13 for Drummond. Bam, 0 for 6. Only 5 rebounds, only 4 assists. Bam has been playing awful. I'm almost tempted to start Drummond. Give Drummond a lot of minutes here. We're down 3 games to 1. We need to win out. Can we come back? Game 5 is looking very good. Game 5, we win it by 10. Bam Adebayo, 22-12-5. Good comeback game. Drummond, 10-16, and double-double. Quickly, the only person who didn't score in double-digit points for us. Game 6, can we send it to 7? We win the first quarter, lose the second quarter. Lose the third. And we will lose in the finals in five games to Luka Doncic, who averages a 37-point triple-double. I'm going to not let people retire if they're, one, good enough to still get contracts, or two, still under contract. So... Short list of retirees, Rudy Gay, Jeff Green, JaVale McGee, Robin Lopez, DeAndre Jordan, George Hill, Blake Griffin, James Johnson, Reggie Jackson, Ish Smith, Garrett Temple, Joe Ingles, Boban Marjanovic. Staff retirements, Josh Longstaff and Trevor Hendry, couple guard gurus. Jersey retirements, Blake Griffin gets his number retired by the Clippers. Draft lottery, we're not in the lottery. We traded our pick to the Pelicans, they get the 27th pick, good for them. Do we have any picks in this draft? I can't remember if we traded away our second round pick or not. We do still have our second round pick. We could get Zach Eady. Could get AJ Hogg. Yeah, there's not really much going on here. Gonna look down the list just to make sure. Yeah, there's no one I'm interested in. I'm gonna try to trade away this pick. No offers. What if I also throw in? I don't really want any of these second round picks. Anybody willing to trade us first? No. Sure, we'll trade these. For 2025 second round pick. They pick Felix Acapala. And with our first round pick. The Pelicans got Reese Beekman. 71 overall. No badges point guard. Number one pick was Ron Holland. Justin Edwards. Isaiah Collier. Alexander Saar. Stefan Castle. Isaac Edmondson. Amundsen. And Matas Buzelis. 
You can see here DJ Wagner, Zach Riziker fall down to 12 and 11 respectively. Not a very stacked draft class. Pick up the team option on Peyton Watson. Qualifying offers to both Quickly and Maxi. We don't have the cap space to do anything. I'm not going to renounce the rights on Quickly and Maxi. Offer Tyrese Maxi a five year deal. Quickly offer him a five year deal. If we can bring back Drummond, I would love to. And I'm pretty sure Bol Bol will be out of our price range. Yeah, I don't see him in the affordable. So we can sign Kelly Olenek as our third string center, though. And that will do it for free agency for us. Where do people go? LeBron James goes to the Knicks. Kawhi to the Magic. Harden to the Celtics. Oh, these are the teams they were already on, actually. I forgot this is the fantasy draft. So yeah, LeBron stays in New York. Kawhi stays in Orlando. He stood. Paul George ended up on the Clippers still. Player progression. Where are we? There we are. Bam out of bio drops by one. That's surprising. Gotti Barnes up two. Maxi up one. Jordan Hawkins up three. That's good to see. Watson up two. Olenek drops by two, but he's just our third string center, so I don't really care about that. Jaime Hawkins and Olivier Prosper both up two. Danny Green goes down three, but he's just kind of a mentor and the bench guy. And load in the 2025 draft class. Rotation this year looking like Tyrese Maxey, Devin Vassell, Mikhail Bridges, Scotty Barnes, Bam Adebayo, Andre Drummond, Trey Lyles, Jordan Hawkins, Peyton Watson, and Emmanuel Quickly when he's back from whatever injury. Sore left knee day to day. And while he's out, I'm going to actually give his minutes to Jaime Jaquez. And he's back before the first game. I kind of want Hakez to get minutes regardless, though. Give 10 minutes to Hakez, 10 minutes to Watson. And next episode, we'll pick up with Season 2, where hopefully we can not only make it to the finals, but actually win it with what little roster moves we've made.